Hi besties and welcome back to another day on Foxtail. Today we're going to be working on building a flower field. I'm so excited to share this one with you. I usually struggle so much with making flower fields on my islands but this one actually came together super super well and I think it's maybe my favorite one that I've done so far and possibly my favorite build on this island so far. It's in kind of an awkward little area. It is the front left hand corner of the map and I usually have a very very difficult time decorating this area on almost every island I've ever done. I don't know why I find it so awkward with the beaches that are in the front and the side and I thought that this might be the perfect little area to do a flower field because I didn't want to be terraforming way too much in this area either so I thought that this would be a good way to fill space without having to do a lot of terraforming or waterscaping. I started out by creating like a little barrier between this area and the area that I will build in the future behind it by using the vertical board fencing which is honestly probably my favorite fencing in the game i think it's so beautiful and i love that it's a little bit taller as well one of my favorite things to do with this fencing is layer the hedges in front of it just because i think it gives it this really soft look and i love the way that the fence kind of like peeks out on the top of the hedges hopefully you guys can't hear that it's actually storming a little bit at my house irl hopefully it just adds like some relaxing rain sound ambiance to the <laughs> to this voice voiceover if you can hear it. It's actually so relaxing. I'm filming this voiceover completely in the dark and it's like around 6 p.m. and I'm wearing my cozy jammies and it is just such a vibe. I don't know about you guys but I absolutely love when it rains as long as it's not like a big scary thunderstorm. When it, we get a heavy rain I find it to be so relaxing. I would actually love to live somewhere where it rains more frequently than it does where I live. Um, but anyway back to the flower field. I started by putting some wind turbines and I want them to look staggered and I want them to be kind of like in the background of where the majority of the flowers are going to be. I mean I guess they're going to be everywhere but hopefully you know what I mean. So I keep running to the front of the area and panning the camera down because I really want these to look like they're almost kind of sort of in the distance if you get what I mean and I also want the spacing to seem somewhat random-ish and not too symmetrical. So playing around with the placement of these quite a bit and I do end up continuing to kind of like scooch them around as we continue on. I don't know why I've struggled so much with flower fields in the past but this one was so easy and I think I figured out a little trick for doing it if you guys also struggle. I found that using three different kinds of flowers and having there be like one dominant color made it so much easier to place them in a way that looks somewhat random. I did cut out quite a bit of footage of me placing the flowers just because it got a little bit repetitive once we get to that point but I did leave in enough that you can kind of see what sort of pattern I go with. I end up using the white cosmos, white mums, and pink uh, lilies. I almost said hyacinths for a second, but pink lilies. I'm playing around with the spacing right now in this like exit slash entrance area. I really wanted to incorporate a tractor here, and I wanted this to look like a little two track that it's made in the ground. So I'm messing around with the spacing of how I need to be placing the pathing. Um, and I think I finally got it so well. I did have to fix my fencing just a little bit, but I think it looks so cute. And having the tractor be like more in the front of the build with the wind turbines in the background, I think looks so nice. I do have some villager houses placed on the beach, but I do end up kind of moving those. They're not going to be there long term. They were only placed there so that I would have enough space on the main island to continue to decorate. So yeah, I am so excited to continue to share all of the builds that we've done on Foxtail with you guys. I have probably finished around half of the island at this point, so you guys are just a little bit behind where my Twitch fam is at right now, which brings me to a shameless, shameless Twitch plug. If you enjoy watching live streams, I've been live streaming two days a week on Wednesdays and Sundays on both Twitch and TikTok. So if you're missing some Animal Crossing content and you'd like to see more from me, that would be a great place to come and hang out, both of which are linked in the description box below. But for the front of this build, I did want to add another picnic area. I feel like I'm adding maybe a few too many picnic areas on this island, but 
If you're gonna do a flower field, you have to have a picnic to go with it. That's just girl science. So yeah, I had to incorporate that. And I thought that that picnic blanket was literally the most perfect shade. And you'll see how it ties in with the flowers once we start placing them. It's so, so gorgeous. I did wanna have just a couple of trees here because I feel like they frame the space so nicely. So I didn't try to go like too overboard with them, but just a couple kind of separates the beach from the flower field. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I thought it would be cute to incorporate a hay bed kind of in the middle of where the flowers are gonna be. Cause I think it's kind of nice to be able to like lay in between them. I did think about doing like a beach towel or something like that, but ultimately I do really like how the hay bed looks. I feel like it gives like a really interesting texture. So now I'm starting to place the flowers and you can kind of see how I'm trying to vary the three different varieties. Once you get like a little pattern going, it starts to get a little bit easier to place them. And see, I'm really trying to avoid having any two flowers right next to each other. Also, please ignore the doggies. They are starting to <laughs> be a little bit talkative with their sleepy groans and their big stretches in the background. <laughs> they're such cuties, but I feel like they have to make sounds in literally every video or they're not happy. <laughs> We are honestly such an animal house, I swear. I've got a dog laying on my feet, Pizza Cat is laying in front of me like half on my keyboard, and Beans is like sitting by my side and I'm petting his head. Like it is the most sweet and comforting thing ever. I'm so grateful for them, but my goodness, are they the clingiest pets ever, <laughs> literally ever. It's my fault because I've babied them so much, but if you can ever hear them in the background of my voiceovers, I'm so sorry. It simply cannot be avoided because every time I try to get them out of here, they're so sad and it literally breaks my heart. So it's something we're just gonna have to live with, I guess. On this other side of the flower fields, I went ahead and placed two of the wild log benches. I love the way that they look when they're staggered like this, especially on like a natural cottage core or forest core themed island. I think that they look so cute. Although now that I'm watching this footage back, I just noticed that I placed one over by the entrance as well. I probably will have to go back and fix that because I think it looks repetitive and kind of silly in a way that I don't like. We had to take a second to pause here to appreciate Melba in all of her glory with her gorgeous little glasses and her perfect little dress. She looks so freaking cute on this island. I seriously cannot with her. She is the most perfect villager for this island theme. I swear to goodness. Um, but if you guys have suggestions of other villagers you think would be cute, I haven't gotten all of my dreamies for Foxtail yet, so I would love for to hear from you guys and see what kind of villagers you think would look cute on this island. I did decide to incorporate the soup sprites into this build. I really wanted to do some like subtle Studio Ghibli references on this island. Very, very subtle, only like a couple little places, just because it's one of my favorite, favorite things in the entire world. I'm absolutely obsessed with all of the movies. and. I I did do a full Studio Ghibli island and I was thinking the other day how much I miss that island and how much I loved decorating in that theme and it got me thinking like why can't I just incorporate little Ghibli elements on whatever islands I'm doing in whatever theme so I thought that the suit sprites holding the flowers incorporated so well into this build I was so so excited as soon as I placed it I think they look so cute yeah I'm literally obsessed I could not possibly be more obsessed and I do love the fact that you can can't even really see them unless you're like looking a little bit closer. It's just like a fun little Easter egg. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. Um, but then I start working on this area in the front. I actually had the biggest trouble with this area just because I wasn't sure how to like blend it with the beach, but I ultimately decided to add some rocks here and then I just kind of extended the flowers. I thought about like stopping them at some point, but I actually feel like it looks more natural to just kind of like put them everywhere and fill up every single tile with them because I think that's kind of how they grow naturally anyway. So ultimately that's what I decided to do. And then I did place some weeds down as well just to kind of like break it up just a little bit. I did have to delete quite a bit of my flower placing in this video just because it gets a little bit repetitive and obnoxious. So hopefully I've shown enough to give you guys an idea of how I decided to stagger them. I really like the effect of it though. I think it just looks so nice and just like soft and pretty. And then I started working on this picnic area. I love the way that the pretzels look here. I'm kind of obsessed with the food items in this game. I think they're so well done and just so adorable 
adorable. But I'm placing down the ukulele and then I wanted to put down the pink version of the Nintendo Switch Lite because I think it looks so cute with all the pink flowers everywhere. It is so difficult to decorate picnic areas though because there's just like no space to move around sometimes so I had to kind of play around with it until I got the placement that I wanted. But this is what we end up with. I really hope that you guys like this build. I had so much fun with this one. Probably my favorite one we've done on the island so far. Let me know what you guys think, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!